So the last thing that we have here um, is we're trying to determine if x and y. Um, actually, I don't think these were parallel. I, I actually, the question asks, what is the values of x and y that are going to prove that these two angles are parallel? All right. So there's a couple things that we need to know. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we need to see how are these angles related to each other. And 114 and y, you can see our corresponding angles. All right. So if these two lines are going to be parallel, then we can say that 114 degrees is equal to the measure of y. Because y are those equal to each other. Remember I said, whenever you set an equation, you need to tell me where that equation came from. Why are you saying that? Because they're corresponding. You have to write in corresponding in there. So now we know that those are corresponding angles. So we know corresponding angles are equal in measure. So then what's so nice about that, AJ, is now I know that y equals 114 degrees. Well, how does that help us? Well, how do 114 degrees and x plus 12, how do those two angles relate to each other? They share a vertex and a side, and they make up a line. Kristen, do you remember what, they, what we call them? So oh, duh, duh. Oh. Yes. Close. No, that's just all I see a second. Kristen, do you know? Huh? No? Angel, do you know? Sierra, you know? Do you know what we call these two angles? A linear pair, yes. And guess what about a linear pair? A linear pair are supplementary as well, right? And what that means is they supplementary, they since they're supplementary, that means they add up to 180. So I'm going to write x plus 2 plus 114 degrees equals 180 degrees. All right? Why? Because they are a linear pair. So now I can solve. So I say x plus 116. I combine my two terms equals 180. Then I subtract 116 on both sides x equals now 64. I'm sorry. Yeah, x equals 64 and y equals 114. OK? So.